<laughs> like, like it look, but they're but they're if you're writing by design, they're like they are assholes yeah. in mm. what they're doing. But like, see, AirQuest, like I put in the same camp as fucking From Software. To me, they make inf- like From Software make infuriating games that I can't, fu- I fundamentally can't understand why there's a market for them. But the reason is that I am the exact opposite gamer to someone who'd like From Software stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't want to suffer when I'm playing video games. No. I play to have a, to have fun, not to self flagellate. But for some people, uh, suffering is fun. Yeah, like it, listen, if you're into self flagellation, that's great. But there it is was, was it the, the new DLC they put out? Like sixty percent of people haven't beaten the boss that locks the DLC. Like yeah. you have to be a particular sorry because um, this is out, Elden Ring you're talking about. Isn't yeah, it? Elden yeah, Ring. Yeah. I was out for a, I was out uh, after the double match with a friend of mine. And he was chatting about it. He's like. It's actually not one boss, it's two of them. Oh, God. And about bitch hard. And they lock off the DLC. So if you've bought the DLC and you can't beat those two, you can't play the content. Play See, why it. would you do that to yourself? <laughs> this is what I can't understand. Why would you do that to uh, you? Why would you deny yourself hell. content? Like, listen, lads, if you're into self adulation that much, just go see a dominatrix. Yeah. And you, do you know what? It'll probably cost you less money in the over in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, absolutely. It's and you give away everything. You give away less personal secrets, to dominatrix. Mm-hmm. You know. But like, I, that, that's that's what I'm saying. So like, the, it's kind of in that same ballpark with me. Is that like, if you really hate Sierra's design, you're gonna hate Sierra game. <laughs> but if you can see them halfway and see the kind of like the the kind of weird. But you're gonna hate charm, Sierra's developed game. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this is what I was going to say next. But like Sierra developers, they are totally different beasts to Sierra producers. Oh man! Like actual producers of games. And again, this is where like we need to actually discuss what that means for people who are uninitiated. When they publish a game, they don't actually have any say in it. They're not the people that are programming it and designing it. They're just the ones that are essentially the executive producers. They sign off on the budget. They fund the game yeah. and essentially gets published under their like label instead of say somebody else mm-hmm. and you know that's that's where they get their incentive and again we've played some of the games that are developed by someone else and Sierra publishes and some of them are good some of them are awful but that's what Sierra did Sierra always went out on a, on a limb to their credit they did fund projects that never would have been done by any other, other game studio and in fairness like I'm trying. I'm struggling to think now. Any other publishers around the time? I don't think they actually were. I think they were one of the first ones, weren't they? I don't know. There's loads of publishers, but like, but uh, someone outside of say like some of the uh, someone outside of Microsoft and Nintendo and Atari, like someone that was like you say was a, a, just like an independent studio, because they would have predated Ubisoft and EA. And well, like Blizzard and all the stuff was that. Was Blizzard around back then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I suppose. Because Sierra and Blizzard wound up being wound up into the same company for a brief period. And did they start off as AOL uh, I adjacent? Either. I can't I remember, yeah. They started off as AOL. But they were a subsidiary of a company called Davidson, and they were an edutainment yeah, software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they were like ed- education. They did educational games, but one of the studios underneath the thing was Blizzard, mm. and they were whacking out Warcraft. Yes, I just couldn't remember when War- Warcraft started. Mm. Yeah, so I'm even, look- I'm even looking here now. Like I, I think, like, as you mentioned, Half Life was one where they they, they they originally published it. Um, and again, we all know the, the kind of the butterfly effect of that. Mm-hmm. But I'm nearly sure Sierra is also on the Crash Bandicoot um, uh, front line as well. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> I don't know, they, they, they actually published the original Diablo Hellfire. Yeah. Fucking hell! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they, they like their legacy goes beyond, well beyond. <laughs> yeah, um, we're actually just trawling back. Like it's still in the mid nineties. Mm. Uh, but it's fa- it is to- it's so fascinating though when you when you actually do drill down into how much stuff that they actually are. Holy shit! Like for. the original, you don't know Jack games back in ninety eight. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's nuts, isn't it? Like it's it's so insane. It's it's unbelievable. It is Half Life there. Um, I saw Crash Bandicoot there, and then when they did get merged into Activision, then they became a publishing like label. So they would have had the Spyro and the uh, Crash, those PS2 games. Well, they didn't games. merge into Activision. They, they got were, bought out. Sorry, yeah, I should. They were owned. 
they were separate companies owned by the same parent company, which mm. wound up getting sued and wrapped up because yes. their accounts were total bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry, I should have clarified that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Diablo is on their books. Um, um, because one of their last games that they would have played, would have actually designed, was Quest for Glory Five. Mm. Um, I'm actually, I think, what do I actually have as the endpoint on this on our actual spreadsheet of games we're meant to be watching? Because <laughs> uh, I haven't updated this in four years. So, actually, yeah, there's the last game I have actually on the on the on the list is Gabriel Knight Three, 1999. Oh, damn. Now, that's me not including a lot of the games that they would have published that we might play just incidentally, like Crash Bandicoot or Half-Life, you know. Um, and again, we have to take a bit of creative license there for saying, like, okay, how much did they actually have input with on that one, you know? Well, as a publisher, you don't have a tremendous amount. No, you don't. You basically let the developer develop the game and then you market it. You yeah. put the money behind it and you... Essentially, Sell yeah. it. and you get your cut, and they get theirs. Mm. Now, get me wrong. Like Half Life was probably their only real hit in that time, um, like in terms of actual publishing. Like the rest of them, they kind of like you know, they're all fairly meh. Would you say, like from the ones I'm seeing here? The Starship Tribes, Star Siege Tribes. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I know the star actually did take up, but I'm not sure if that was actually any good. Yeah. Ah, oh, Caesar 3, I did play that. I loved Caesar 3. Ah. Oh. You used to always call my character Biggest Dickus. <laughs> Biggest Dickus. Uh, oh, they, they would have uh, actually technically published Prototype in 2009. Mm. Fun fact there. So yeah, that's the same. So it, it's an it's an it's an interesting one in a sense. Is that like? Oh, they were in the spiros. Yeah, the, but they, now these were the shit spiros, the ones on the Legend of Spyro series. Ah. They're awful. Avoid them at the plague. Um. So the only one thing I'm trying to think of at the time, um, and this is our this is showing our age, folks. Um, <laughs> because the only other producer, the actual publishers. Proper publishers of games that I can think of that, that that Sierra would have been competing with on like full force. Oh, by the way, here's another trap here. By the way, Uh-oh. the gardener has has gold has gold eyes. Uh... So if we come towards him. The archer kills us. <laughs> yep. So, do you, do you have you figured out what's going on there? With the with the golden eyes. Golden Eye! Shut up. Come at me. <laughs> it's okay, we're not going to get sued for that. You're fine. Oh, did, did you know one of Survivor series? But Monolith. I didn't. I knew Monolith did the development. I didn't realise it was fucking Sierra. They're awesome. The Operative. Oh, man. Those are awesome games. No One Lives Forever. They need to be remade. No, which one is it? Uh, no One Lives Forever, right, is... That game. It was oh, a, that one. It was weird. It was kind of like like I said, it was a sixties kind it, of spy thing. It was an it? FPS game. Yeah. But it was kind of like oh, if you like cross Doom, but like Austin Powers. Yeah. It was. It was like it was like a. It was like kind of Killer Seven without the wankery. Yeah. yeah. And um, the fucking like the lead character in it was. It was one of the best first person shooters. It was awesome. It was mm. really well said. So you Kate Archer in it because it was a woman. Yeah. It was. It was. This, it was a take on the Avengers. Yeah. Not the. So, um, not yeah, Marvel. Yeah. No One Lives Forever Two is the sequel to it. That's why it's yeah. in Harm's Way. Yeah. Um. Oh man, they were brilliant. Monoliths were awesome in the mm. fucking olden days. Monoliths were. Yeah. Daily. So what I was gonna say there about publishers was that like. Like Sierra were, ended up competing with LucasArts, um, and my God, did they ever get blown out of the water with LucasArts? Mm. But LucasArts always had a different policy. Was that like, okay, whatever the games that they, shall we say, because um, they <laughs> they never publish. I don't think they ever. They obviously published things that were within the Lucas kind of like realm, like Star Wars games and all that sort of stuff. But they always they did have their own design studio. You know what I mean? Like that's that's which all. Couldn't reference Star Wars in any which way, shape, or form. And you know what? Best decision ever. Because yeah, I mean, yeah that, they were great. Yeah. Yeah, they were really good about that. But the other one I was thinking of, and I'm thinking of myself, I don't think Full Throttle would have been really good had I had a load of fucking Star Wars references. If like. they were actually just the hover bikes from Star Wars, yeah. I don't think so, no. Um, so I was just thinking to myself, the other, other real competitor I could think of for Sierra at the time, who low-key would definitely top Sierra with their back catalogue, 
and this will and this will date it because this will become this will shock people when I say this. <laughs> Virgin Interactive. Yeah, they were awesome, man. They did loads. Virgin actual like you know Richard Branson. Oh, the penalties. Like, like <laughs> no, the sex pest. Richard Branson mm-hmm. did actually publish games. Like well, his company did. Yes. Um, but who are you? Like that's what the that's what the most absurd part about this is, you know. Um. So. I'm even gonna if I just list out a couple of these uh, of these here, right? We've already played some of them. Um, seven guests, eleventh <laughs> era. We watched that on mm-hmm. the channel. Um, a lot of your favorites here, Neil. Actually, uh, another world. Oh man! Uh, Beneath the Steel Sky. Yes. The broken, That's not just my favorite. The Broken Swords. Uh, the first yeah. two Broken Sword games, until THQ took over Virgin Interactive. This was, so THQ took over Virgin Interactive as back catalog. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? Blade Runner, the video game. Oh, that was awesome. That was brilliant. Um, they had nothing to do with the garbage remake of it, though. No. Uh, thankfully, you can blame uh, Limited Night Run for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bloody Roar, the trilogy Bloody Roar. Oh, I know. I remember. I didn't really. I wasn't really into that, but I remember them. <coughs> they were um, actually cool. Uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert, of course, and yeah. Command and Conquer the original. Yeah. Um, Crime Wave, Curse of Enchantia. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, oh, uh, Cannon Fodder. One and two. Oh, Cannon Fodder is awesome. Yeah, Chaos Control. Um, the two Dino Crisis games. No, oh, Dino Crisis. Dem- Let's see, we got Stop. Doom 2. The fucking stiffy. Double Dragon 2. The two, the three June Oh, the video Demolition games. Man fucking videos, yeah. Earthworm, Earthworm Jim, Jim, one and two. Yes. Um, Dune. What else we got? Golden Axe, the video game. <laughs> Guilty Gears. Harvester, which we might play on Paul Cthulhu ah, soon. Heart of the Alien. Heart nice, of the Alien. That's yeah. the sequel to Flashback. Yes, uh, to Another World. Oh, Another World. Fuck yes. yes no. Again, weirdly, Flashback not in their uh, back catalog, which is weird. Mm. I think um, I think Delphine might have Delphine published them mm-hmm. themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, funny enough. Jimmy White's fucking snooker. Yeah, baby, get in there. <laughs> Don't ever say that ironically. Shut the fuck. Uh, the Legend of Kirandia. That was one of their ones as well. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, the Lion King game. Mm. They did that. Yeah, they got a few Disney gigs, actually. Um, a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom. They did them as well before they got popular. Um, Night Trap. Ah, oh, Night Trap is awesome. Yeah. Uh, got the Prince of Persia, the original Prince of Persia. Populous. Fucking, the populous games are brilliant, man. Mm, just number two now. Just number two. Mm. And, of course, the big one. Resident Evil. Resident the originals. And Resident Evil Gaiden, which is an interesting one there as well. And Robocop vs. The Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got there? Uh, Street Fighters, a few there as well. Uh, let's see, what else we got there? Good feeling, actually. Yeah. Silkworm! I love that game! That was awesome! Because one player was a Jeep and the other player was the fucking helicopter. Ah. And it was a side scrolling shooter. It was awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That was fucking awesome. Uh, let's see. Toonstruck. There we go. Time That's Commando! What... That was a crazy fucking game. It was like a. It was it it was a third person game where you controlled them, but it like it constantly swept through all the different time periods where you picked up loads of weapons and mm. killed loads of people. Oh, and okay. it was oh, I was mental. It was that time commando was a fucking crazy game. I loved that game. All right, and um, what else we got? Wonderland, another one there. Uh, another one of those kind of weird games. Young Merlin and uh, Z. Ah. Which, uh, yes, that one, yeah. That's from the Bitmap Brothers. That was also mm. another one in the reign of Cannon Fodder. Yes. So there you go. That is like that, now that that's a publisher. That they published a lot mm. of fucking games. He got addicted to the mints. Mm-hmm. He wants more alcohol. <laughs> well, he gets drunk off mint. Yeah, All right. I think they're meant to be alcoholic mint. I think that's the whole the, the whole point. It's either that or he's a fucking lightweight. Oh, how terrible for you! Oh, what was me? Oh, heavens to I Betsy! Might it be valuable enough to ransom back Do you know often me? sell your pearls, mm-hmm. Neil? So now we can have a ring back for uh, for for uh, entertainment purposes. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit attached to it, I'm afraid. Of course you are. You would be cold hearted if you felt any differently. I am happy to see a family heirloom back with its rightful owner. 
For a profit, of course. Of course. I mean, he's a merchant. Like, you know, what, what do you Mr. expect? Mr. Merchant, yeah. Mr. Merchant. <laughs> it's his family name, was it? <laughs> Don't do it myself, right? So, like, like, see, like, like Virgin was like, it would have been a British, technically a British. Um, but you see, like, like, in around, like, when the the Amstrad and all the stuff like British computing was like it was at the huge, forefront yeah, yeah. it was gigantic because there was, was a, there was a homebrew industry yeah as well, they were at the there? cutting yeah. edge of everything like they yeah. were putting out hardware and software yeah mentally yeah we don't that, that is not, that's kind of like kind of lost a little bit in down the time I think it was it's mostly lost because everybody laughs at Alan Sugar for turning down an exclusive deal with Microsoft because he couldn't understand the concept of software now in fairness now, yeah, this, was I mean, the guy, this is the guy who <laughs> ran Amstrad. Like, yeah. You know, he ran a computer company and didn't get the notion of software. Yeah. He was like, ah, oh, if it's not in the ship, I don't And, and this is the guy shit. that's that's fronting The Apprentice. Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, no, 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 mm. if it's not in the ship, I don't give a fuck. I, I, I can't hold it. Can, can I hold software? Spurs. What the fuck? Spurs. I, like, oh, I don't give a fuck about this. I, I was like, this. Are you serious? You could have had, like, an exclusivity deal with Microsoft for, like, Literally one twelfth, found a, a fortune. one twelfth of a pittance. Yeah, which would have made you kajillions. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you said no because you were a computer manufacturer that didn't get the concept of software, mm-hmm. and that's just hilarious. I love that. I lo- I, that I is love, funny. I love recounting that story to people, and he will tell that story as well to people. He's like, I don't give a fuck about software. I was like, you ran a computer company, you dickhead. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> Why did you get the concept of software? That's like a mechanic not getting the concept of engines. Exactly, or wheels. Yeah, the fuck that shit. Oh, notice that this snake there has a golden eye. Ah. So he's seen. Golden eye. What you my pretty? A gold ring? Sing Sing, where did you get this? Realm of Data Tree. But this is Alexander's ring. Ooh. Oh, my soul. He must be here. Do you like the princess music? Mm-hmm. Tell me what you've seen. It's the opening bars of what would become the uh, end theme. And I'm warning you now, the end theme oh. is cringe. Oh, <laughs> I'm warning you now so that you can drink enough alcohol so that you can be prepared for it, okay? Let's hope so. Right. Sing, sing. Is, it's a nice name for a bird. Also appropriate considering it's a prison. Leave. I just imagine the composer to this music crying as he's playing the music. It's like, oh my god, I miss my wife. <laughs> the things I do for money. Yeah, my, my love. I might as well sell my ass down an alley. Take my heart and leave. Fucking pennies. <laughs> I'll suck up almost and for quavers if I don't get this fucking music done. <laughs> No, plot twist, it's the it's a vizier the whole time. I am the princess now. The scarf is made of red silk. I can sell this. <laughs> I can make it I can make a robe out of this. I definitely choked myself with this. <laughs> yeah, probably not inhaling the velvet. It's like <laughs> Ah, strong strand of black hair. See, that's the thing with hair fetishes. You can't do it with one strand. You need all of it. 